However, there, of course, remains a vital role for the federal government in protecting unborn life. Abortion will play a critical role in the 2024 cycle as more states allow ballot measures on the issue ahead of the November election. But for former President Donald Trump, abortion is a political landmine as he navigates a post-Roe v. Wade nation. The former president's abortion problem is twofold. He must continue to appease Republicans who advocate for abortion restrictions, while winning over moderate and independent voters who may not be too keen on limiting access to abortion. Trump's hesitation to clearly define where he stands on a federal abortion ban, while bragging that his presidency paved the way for the overturning of Roe, has allowed Democrats to brand him as an anti-woman leader. Trump proudly says, quote, after 50 years, with no one coming close, I was able to kill Roe v. Wade. He says it has to be punishment for women exercising the reproductive freedom. President Joe Biden's campaign has seized on abortion and reproductive rights as a key component in the rematch with Trump, especially after the better-than-expected 2022 midterm results for Democrats. Folks, if America sends me a Congress that are Democrats, I promise you, Common and I will restore Roe v. Wade as the law of the land again.